airplane has an excellent speed and performance envelope. It's capable of Mach 2 flight at high altitude. Below 16,000 feet, we're airframe limited to 595 knots. Above 16,000 feet, 640 knots. Uh, during our evaluation, we encountered a duck buzz at about 0.93 Mach number. It's very difficult to exceed 0.93. 510 knots, you get very heavy longitudinal stick forces. It tends to limit the amount of stabilator available, thereby limiting the uh, total number of G available. The turn capability of the airplane is excellent. At about 500 knots, you can sustain over 6 G at 15,000 feet. However, at 400 knots and below, speed bleed off in a high G turn is excessive. And this is one point that we can capitalize on with our airplane. We can pull about 3 G at 280 knots and about 2.5 G at 180 knots. The airplane is maneuverable down to 120 knots. Uh, it takes quite a bit of cross-controlling and pilot technique to keep from losing the airplane. The simplicity, reliability, and maintainability of this aircraft is outstanding. It represents a, an excellent engineering achievement. We flew the aircraft on many occasions, three times a day, turned it around in 30 minutes, it's really a solid airplane. During our 100 flights, we changed the tires and the brakes on the 50th flight, changed the oil filter on the 50th flight. And we had three very minor uh, electrical problems with the EGT system. That was the sum total of the maintenance on 100 flights.